this guy's name was developed in cooperation with Qatar. We have set this project for over 10 years to identify the risks around any major event. And we have identified that public health risks was an important topic that we should address within the project. Triple, with cooperation with more than 50 experts from different fields, private sector, public health, law enforcement, academia, and event organizer came together through webinars, surveys, workshops to discuss this topic and to come up with this important guidance that will, will be an important piece of work integrated into the major event security in the future. Looking forward, we recommend, and to Sadia recommends, to take this guidance and to integrate it into any major event security planning. It's important to have the public health risk addressed in any planning for any major event, either sports, concerts. We have to make sure that uh, this guidance does not replace what, is, what already exists today, but to complete those documents uh, in, in ensuring the safety and secure of any other future event. We strongly recommend that we keep continue looking at public health risks beyond the COVID period. We saw diff over different periods uh, in the past, different pandemics have came and lots of losses were happening. So we do strongly recommend to look at these guidance, to incorporate them in the strategic of uh, any security plannings, bring the public health sector on table from day number one, ensure they are integrating these plans to make sure that any event in the future is safe and secure, not uh, from a public safety risks, but from any other risk as well. Finally, I would like to thank everyone who worked on this guidance. Uh, this guidance will be very important for the future of any major events. We will make sure that the, these, those events are more secure and safety for any spectator or anyone coming to those events, coming safely and going back safely.